what's up circus friends it is tracy We're here at the circus office today is thursday april the 11th and i just wanted to say hello um we have started microchipping all of our puppies starting with this last litter was the first one we did it in um, i had a lot of requests for it so i just wanted to do it and i went ahead and microchipped all of our dogs here all the mommies and daddies and so now we have got um Microchips. Um, we use the service AKC Reunite. It doesn't have to be an AKC registered dog in order to use this. It can be CKC registered, unregistered. You can still go through AKC Reunite. That's just the service that provides the tracker on the chips or the... Basically, they store your info. So they're the ones that um, you register the chip with. But it's pretty cool. I get them in a big pack and... Um, I give them to the dogs themselves. I do vaccinations, so I'm sort of experienced with that, too. Um, each one comes, like, in a uh, sanitary, like, you don't want to open it until you go to use it. And each one has a little tiny tag that goes on the doggy's collar that has their number on it. Um, you know, I mean, if you lose it or if they play and it gets chewed off or whatever, it's no big deal. The, the chip is still inside them. So, um, the microchip is about the size of a grain of rice. Um, I wish I had one to show you right now, but it's about like a big fat grain of rice and it's black and it's already loaded in these syringes. And it also comes with all these stickers and all the stickers say the number of the microchip on them. Uh, so you can stick it in their records and in their baby book and all over the house and you'll always remember what that is. Take a picture of it on your phone so that you've always got it um, handy, the number. Uh, yeah, so basically um, I wanted to do this just to let you guys know that if you have a dog right now that is microchipped and you have not registered it yet, you need to do that. Um, I talked with my rep at the AKC Reunite and she said it's a big thing. Um, people usually, they get their dog and they buy a puppy and oh yeah, it's microchipped, okay, thank you. And they don't register it. And so what's going to happen is if that dog is picked up by the pound or the Humane Society or whatever, if your dog is lost, um, you know, when, when Katrina happened, there were just these dogs everywhere, you know. And so uh, the first thing they would do is they would get the scanner and scan the dog to see if they could figure out whose dog it was. Um, so you put the thing in the dog, the chip, and when you scan the dog with a special scanner, your phone won't work. Um, you have to have like a special dog scanner. This number pops up on a little machine, okay? Just the number. It doesn't say Mary Smith, 123 Sesame Street. It just says, you know, this huge 16, 18, 20 digit number, whatever, okay? If the dog was never registered, just this number comes up. That's all they get. So now they've got this dog that someone has invested in and someone has loved and they have paid for this microchip, but it's of no use because they have no idea who the dog belongs to um, and they can't find the dog's home. Um, if your chip was purchased through your breeder, they might have got it like me, like in a kit like this. And all these chips are somehow associated with circus pugs. So if you don't register them, they might, I think the, the, the rep told me that they can contact me and say, hey, we've got a little fawn pug here. She's in Louisiana. Any idea whose it is? This is the number. Okay. But if you had it through a vet or something, they might not have done that. So they're just going to see this number. That's all that comes up on the machine is the number. So a person, an actual person has to take that number to a computer. Okay. And they have to type it into a database, such as AKC Reunite. And they're like, I found number 95, who does it belong to? And they hit enter. If you've registered your dog, your name and number and address and all that great stuff is going to come up. And your emergency contact. And your vet is going to come up, which is great. That's what you want, right? Because you want to get your dog back. If you have not registered the number, just the number comes up. And they can't find you. Uh, be careful because there are services out there when I wanted to get mine microchip my dogs They want like monthly fees. It's like you can register it, but you got to pay ten dollars a month or one of them was like twenty five dollars a year and If you forget to make the payment or whatever Too bad too sad. They just get the number again, and they can't find you right who wants to pay for their dogs microchip every year or every month that stinks 
that's why we went with AKC Reunite because you pay a one-time fee and I think it's like $19 and it's a it, one and done. You're done for the life of the dog. I want to say the battery that's inside the microchip lasts for like 18 years or something. So for the life of the dog. Um, and that's great because, you know, if somebody finds the dog, you take it, oh gosh, nightmare. You take it to the beach on vacation, right? And, and, and somehow it gets away and you're in another state and you can't find your dog. I mean, oh my gosh, I would, I would lose it. I really would. But hopefully, you know, if, if they don't have their collar on with their, with their tag and your phone number or name, um, they can go to, uh, the pound or the vet or whatever. I think even PetSmart and veterinary clinics have the machine that they can scan them and see. But um, the message I want to give you is just because your dog's microchip does not mean your dog is registered. So if you have a puppy and you don't remember ever going into uh, online and registering it, this is what comes with the chips that I give people. And you can actually mail this thing in. But if you do it online, you save five bucks. So that's why I say don't, don't mail it in. Just do it online. Um, use credit card, pay 19 bucks, and you're covered for the life of the dog. So yeah. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. If you found this useful or even entertaining, you like to laugh at me or with me, this is great. <laughs> Please subscribe to my page. I've got lots of other videos to help with your pugs and your Frenchies and basically any kind of dog. And I will see you at the circus. Thanks. Bye-bye.